So here it is, the first tyre trough at the farm. Uh, this is off the Merley. Had a, well, we've worn it out fairly well. Um, so we've bolted a sheet of um, four mil uh, metal on the bottom. Put a valve in on here on the side. Um, put a chain on there so I can tow it with the gator from one point to the next. And then used a um, class on um, quick connect system there so we can just uh, plug it in when it's all live and move from one point to the next. Um, yeah, so this is a three quarter inch hose, fire hose. One of our tenants have got a um, restores fire engine so we've got plenty of hose so we give that a go. But it's horrible stuff, it makes your hands all red. So I don't know if we're using that. And um, that's an um, inch black hose along the top running along the top of the ground. Um, that's it, we're just letting the air come out of the system to turn it all on. And then hey presto, not sure about whether the lambs will um, be able to get in there or not, so we've cut a hole out. Um, time will tell. First bit of rain we had last night for quite a while, so that's good. Still got some straw bales to pick up on the arable ground over there. It's all going into uh, second wheat, that bit. Bit of rape in the background. See we've got quite a lot of rape volunteers in the grass. Um, yeah, not the proudest bit of grass establishment this lot, so we've got uh, some fat hen and stuff coming as well. But um, yeah, we had to re-drill re a bit on the top of the hill there. But it's the only bit we've done. I think we did about five hectares out of 360 hectares that we've redrilled re um, re this autumn. So, oh, I'm not too worried about it. Quite pleased. Um, here we go. I think the water's starting to come there. So, oh yeah, I suppose the other thing, we, we've got to put the drain on there as well so we can just empty the water out when it's time to move. And hopefully that will keep the water nice and fresh. And the old sheep. 400 in this mob. So, uh, yeah, and the lambs. Start weeding them soon. Bye.